Uh, Sunday morning, real quick, uh, quick video. What we've got here is a Raspberry Pi with the can shield. Um, I've got the laptop on, it's got the Voxel software. Um, that's pl plugged in to a Voxel ECU, which is uh, the steering module, and I've got a dash up here as well, which is all hooked up. Um, what you can see on here at the moment is all of the CAN messages that are flying around on that network at the moment. Um, so the idea of this video is what I'm going to do is reverse engineer one of the functions on this tool to show you how easy it is. Um, this is an EGR solenoid test. Um, that's the activation button there. So when I hit that, what I want to do is find out what CAN message that sends to the ECU. And then we can copy that message and then we've always got that. So I can always run an EGR solenoid test just by injecting one CAN message. Um, but at the moment, that's a lot of information. But with this Raspberry Pi, what you can do is filter all of that, take out all the static messages that are doing nothing, and just have the active messages. So if I do this, and then we want, at the moment we're doing a CAN dump. What we want is can sniffer, and that'll only show the active messages. So we just let it settle down so it'll remove all of the static messages. Just let it settle. Okay. So here's the ID. These are the data bytes. So you see we've only got two that are moving at the moment. So when I press the activation, that 7E0, and then we'll stop it. So that's the stop function. So there you go. We've, straight away, that's how easy it is to find a CAN message from a scan tool. And then we could put that into a piece of software, add a button, and then we've got that function. Simple.